uh, for that because you don't have to worry about uh, walking and we can see that they're able to self-charge. I think in some cases they were actually plugged in a couple of stations. So yeah, I mean, that's one way of being able to extend the battery life depending on what you do, but sometimes you have to be mobile. So we can see they can do that. Um, the one thing that was rather interesting is that some of the early tasks, you'll notice it's picking up something and then having to, to, to turn pretty quickly to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And of all the bipedal robots I've seen out there, not only are they walking slow, and I think, I think it was Tesla hype did a really funny post last night that he showed a clip of the Tesla bot walking that we saw from like a was it a week or two weeks ago? The, right. The, basically, the you know the, the naked optimist you know without the armor on, um, and it was kind of walking slowly. And he said, you know, it's like leaving the gym after leg day, you know, and it kind of was. It's like walking pretty slowly, looking maybe a little bit stiff. So all of them don't seem to be quick enough. And whenever I've seen them have it to change direction, they are really slowly. I mean, it's like the feet are just like going pitter patter, pitter patter, trying to get around. And that could be the killer. I mean, if, if you can walk three miles per hour, that's great. But if every time you have to turn 45 degrees or 90 degrees, it takes you like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the bot on the wheels was like able to like turn around pretty quickly. So in some ways they were able to get that task faster. The other thing, of course, there's going to be a lot of energy savings. I have a mobility like that. So there are some advantages. Some of the disadvantages are sometimes not that easy to crouch down. You see, they've been able to do that. And it has been argued, and I think pretty effectively by Brett Adcock, the figure that, you know, it's these wheeled ones won't be able to work in a lot of environments because sometimes if you need to reach into something, you need to get your foot up to get the balance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you're getting your foot up on a pallet or something like that. So even though there's not like steps in the environment, there just may be these other things that makes more sense. So his argument for like the more general purpose one is that they have to be bipedal. Right. It doesn't mean there won't be some of these solutions. And the other thing is that they're already pivoting to trying to get a bipedal robot. Right. And what they, and they've been around long enough, you know, since I think, like I say, 2016, the whole thing is like, how do you teach these things? And, and going in and trying to get the data and learning to do it. And they're saying everything there was end to end. Right. Uh, and you see a variety of different tasks, the, the Sisyphean task of like picking up the block, putting it up there and it slides back down and again and again. And of course, every time it comes down, it's like in a random position. And then maybe there's something about putting it in one, you know, changing the box going in, but whatever. They're, they're trying to get the, the training set. So that's some of the stuff that we, we've learned from them and the importance of doing that now. If you happen to be a big fan of the Cybertruck, you might also be interested in this super fun Cybertruck refrigerator magnet and bottle opener. It is made out of super thick stainless steel, just like the Cybertruck. And it has this giant magnet on the back, so it's gonna hold a lot of stuff on your refrigerator. It's an amazing gift and it comes in that great gift box that you saw before. Uh, that uses a magnet opener, just almost like an Apple box, you know, like when you get Apple products. You can buy it on Amazon for $29.95, or you can buy it direct from me by sending $25 to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kirk, all in lowercase letters. Please indicate whether you want the stainless steel look, or maybe you'd like to have this <laughs> very clever camo version. And then if you're not in the U.S., please add $20 for freight. If you'd like more than one, please check the information below to get pricing, as well as all that information I just told you will be repeated in the information below. So once again, think about joining the channel, getting the up-to-date Tesla news every single day. I think you'll be glad you did.